Hey guys, welcome back to Frutini's channel. Um, first of all, I just want to say sorry for the poor quality of this video. I'm using my iPad because I've had to move um, my easel onto the floor because it's just way too big to do a proper um, a proper video showing you what exactly it looks like on my desk. But a lot of people, um, well, several people have actually commented on um on the easel that i'm using and the light pad that i'm using so i figured that i would do just a quick video I apologize for um the mess um but but yeah i thought i would do um, a quick video so this is the easel that i use when i do my diamond painting um let me zoom out a little bit i'm really sorry for the bad quality um, so this is the, the easel that I use when I'm diamond painting. It looks really small when you're looking at it from this angle, um, but it's actually A2 in size. Um, so it is actually quite a big, a big easel. And I bought this from Amazon, um, Amazon UK, and it was £34.50, I believe. Um, but anyway, here is the easel itself. Um, it's made by... I can show you by Pablo that is the um, the manufacturer um, I'm not sure what material it's made from um, whether it's like beech or pine I'm not sure and um, around this side at the back um, it's got different um, different sections where you can adjust the height of the easel so you can have it like laying down. If I, I wonder if I can actually put you guys down and uh, be able to show you. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but basically, you lift. You can lift this up and you can adjust where you place the stand. Obviously, I can't do it because I've got one hand on my iPad and the other other hand on the. Uh, on the easel itself so you can adjust it so there's four um four height adjustable settings um obviously this setting down here is the the lowest so you can have it like pretty much flat almost um generally when i'm doing diamond painting i use this section here this one um that's quite comfortable um i find anything above the second setting i find it quite quite steep quite high and uh, it gets a little bit uncomfortable um but other than that i actually think it's a really good easel um there are a few little spots on it that oh <laughs> there are a few little spots on it if i can i'm not sure if the camera's going to show you you see like here if i bring it round a little bit like here for example um there's a couple of like sections like that where the wood seems to have split um i don't know if that is through just general use um but you know i certainly don't throw this around everywhere um this is the first time it's actually moved off my desk since i had it and i only had it in may um so i'm i'm guessing that's just the way it uh, it came when it, it was delivered um the box right here is the box that it came in Okay, so it's by by Pablo, suitable for A2. Art and craft workstation, fully adjustable with five different working angles. Oh, it's made from beach. Okay, so I've answered my own question. Designed for professionals, loved by everyone. Um, I think it says the same thing on the other side. Oh no, we've got a bit more information on the back. Okay, so um a bit more detailed in um description the board area is six 625 by 450 millimeters so i'm thinking that's 62 and a half by 45 centimeters if i've done my maths correctly um okay here we've got it in in all the instructions in a variation of different languages the Pablo Art and Craft A2 workstation is a large easel that is ideal for working on both art and craft projects. Made from hard-wearing beech wood, this workstation will fit up to A2 size paper while still allowing enough room to tape your project to the board. The Pablo Art and Craft A2 workstation has five positions that allow you to work at a variety of angles. Um, 
contents one a2 art and craft workstation and then you've got it in um, a variation of different languages obviously i'm in the uk so that's the uk batch code so all in all i'm really impressed with um with this easel um considering the issues that i was having before i started using an easel with like back and neck pain I would recommend this to anybody that is, you know, any arts and crafts really that involve a lot of like neck, neck and back bending like repeatedly and for prolonged periods of time. Um, I would definitely recommend getting an easel if you are in the market to buy, to buy one. And to be honest, I think it's paid for itself. Yeah, it was a little bit on the pricey side, but it's paid for itself really in my opinion because, you know, it saved me a lot of um, pain. So, um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Obviously, there's different uh, manufacturers other than Pablo. But just to give you a general idea of, of the, uh, the easel that I use. Okay, the other thing that I'm using at the moment is... I can actually put this on the light board itself. On the easel itself, I should say. There's me. Hi. Um, this is the light pad that I use. Um, I don't think this has actually got... A name to be honest um, but this is a4 in size so you can actually see how big it is in comparison to the the rest of the easel so you know it's quite quite small but because you're only in my opinion because you're only working in small sections of your diamond painting at a time um, I figured that it, it made more sense to to go for something smaller more more cost effective in my opinion and um, you know you can just move it around the desk wherever you uh, you need to, to put it because really it's not that far from the top of the uh, from the top of the easel so there's plenty of workspace but this is A4 um, there are three different settings on this um, it's not plugged in at the moment because it, it, it is powered by where is it it is powered by USB um, so it's USB but to, I think it's like a mini USB, I think that's called, I'm, I'm not really sure, USB-C or something like that. Um, that obviously goes into your computer, the, the big end, and this and the smaller end goes, plugs into here. You press the power button and then you get like a, quite a dim setting. And then you press it again, it goes lighter and press it again for the third time and it goes to its maximum brightness. I tend to use it on the... The smallest the the lowest um, setting um, purely because anything higher than that is just way too bright so I just use the first setting and that's it the only downside to this I find is because of where this power button is positioned if you're working on a diamond painting and you you accidentally press your hand on the button or you press your pen on the button or you rest your arm on the button accidentally then it it, uh, it affects the um, the brightness levels or if you're working on the highest brightness level you could end up turning off the um off the light pad altogether so that is the only downside that i've i've found so far with this light light pad um but again working with dark colors on a diamond painting this is a this is a lifesaver really it's it's very easy on the eyes um as opposed to not using the light pad at all um, I no longer have the box for this. Well, I have the, the inner box, but I don't have the outer carton box. Um, so there is... So it's got some, like, sticky pads. Well, they're not really sticky, but I think it just gives it a little bit of uh, grip when you're using it on your desk or your easel. Um, and it does actually come with four plastic um, covers that go over each corner. And I think the idea behind them is so that if you're working on, like, an eighth, an A4 picture or something a bit smaller there's something that will secure whatever you're working on into place so on the on either on all four corners there are separate um, separate things that you can actually clip onto the side there and use that as a bit of a grip for your painting or whatever it is that you're working on um, it's got like a ruler edge as well so it gives you an idea of how big you know how big whatever it is you're working on is to give you a bit of a an idea of that um and then on the back um led drawing tracing pad that's dog hair um 
made in China. Right, 240 volts. I think that's what that means. Oh, 5 volts. Uh, made in China, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, pretty pretty much standard. But, um, but yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be without my light pad now. Um, I have noticed though that when I've got this switched on, I see a couple of like, what do you call it? You know, like when you're looking at um, a monitor um, and you see a few like dead pixels, you know, when you see that like white spot on your monitor. I've noticed a couple of these appearing on this. Now, I don't know if it's because when I'm doing diamond painting and I'm pressing onto the diamond painting to secure a bead into place. I don't know if I'm pressing a little bit too hard and I'm damaging the light pad. It's only happened in a couple of sections. Um, I think there's one about here and I think there's another one around the middle area. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's just because of how hard I'm pressing. So maybe I just need to ease up on how hard I push the beads into the canvas. Um, but yeah, overall, that is... Um, you know, that is what I think of that. So I actually would definitely recommend both of these, both the easel and the light pad. So if you are looking to, to buy one, then um, I will put the description and the links um, to the UK Amazon um, of w exactly the model that I'm, I've bought for both of these. Obviously, it's going to differ if you're in the States or you're in other parts of Europe. Um, but I'm sure if you just copy paste the actual description of the product, a similar a similar product or even the exact same product should show up on uh, on Amazon. But um, also you can find these in other places as well, especially the easels. Um, if you're in the UK, um, there's a place called The Range. Um, they do a, a good selection of easels. Um, I've not seen the light pads um, anywhere else. Um, I think in the UK, I think you might be able to buy them from Hobbycraft. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I know you can also buy the easels from Hobbycraft. But I don't think. I've not seen one this big. I think they're more like upright easels. Um, like for actual painting. Not desk desktop easels. Um, but yeah. Just search it up on Amazon. Just copy paste the title. The um, the description. onto Into the search bar on Amazon. And I'm pretty certain it will come up with with a description of a similar product if not the exact same one so i hope that um helps anybody that was um who'd got any questions or or was just showing a general interest in what i use when i'm diamond painting um any questions at all please feel free to to comment um in the section below and as always if you do like this video please like comment and subscribe it would be very much appreciated thank you and um, and yeah, I, any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.